Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Hmm, today it's going to be a match between Soul Key and Sexy Hero, our hero on Eclipse. Soul Key, a legend of the olden days, got this replay from RJB. You're probably not surprised by that, right? Check him out at RJB TV on YouTube. Leave a comment, tell him that Falcon sent you, and hit that subscribe button for RJB as well. All right, so top right-hand corner, we're going to have a purple Terran player. It is Sexy Hero. It's a Terran player whose name is Hero, but the other Zerg named Hero kind of overshadowed him. So now he is Sexy Hero, or 10-Minute Flash under this name. And in the bottom left, it is the white Zerg player, Soul Key. Under the um sort of concerning name, Need Money 2, uh, according to RJB, who does watch a lot of these streams, Soul Key is sort of hard up for cash right now. Which, so, if you love Soul Key and you're like, what's Soul Key been up to all these years? Go to his stream. I'll find a link to it here on the, uh, I'll find a link and I'll put it in the description if you remind me. You can go there and donate some cash to him and be like, look, man, I love your stuff. I, I respect all that you did for Zerg, all that you continue to do for Zerg. Here's five bucks and you can make him happy. All right. So that, again, a little bit of a personal note, but anywho, we're here on Eclipse. It's one of those maps that's kind of like a split in half scenario, right? Like, we've got the jungle tile set here down the middle, and on the bottom left, and the top right, it's all this starbase type stuff. Yeah, starbase tiling, more than anything else here. It's gonna be a ZV team. So, hatch first to Rooney. I'm gonna assume that was a 12er, it was. 12 hatch out of Soul Key. The Terran is working on a barracks inside of his own base after Supply Depot. Nothing too crazy here at all. SCV going for the scout, drone going for the scout. Terry the Overlord going for the scout. What is up, Terry? I hope things are good today. I see that you have a nice coat of white paint on you today. Uh, yes, yes, I understand. You're trying to scout out the Terran. Hopefully no Marines kill you. I'm with you on that, Terry. Marines are your arch enemy at this stage of the game. SCV comes in and says, mm hmm yes, right, okay. Hatch first, extractor pool, very, very nice. There's not going to be Lings trying to kill me anytime soon. So I say we throw down a command center. That's what I vote if you're a sexy hero. Is it time? Is it time to do it? It probably is. This SCV is in interested in entirely throwing down a command center, making sure that this drone goes away. I we don't need to chase that far. There you go. I mean, just making sure the drone leaves, I guess, is what you're into. But there's a Marine out now. So the Marine can cover you in case the drone comes back and tries to mess with you while you build your command center. So there it is. Command center coming in at you know, 16 supply. So, so far, macro openings from both of these players. How many lings are in production? Boy, golly. Okay, I was going to say, no lings and a lair. One set of lings and a lair. You do want to make sure that uh, the scouting SCV gets killed eventually. And that's what the lings are for. The drones really have a hard time making this guy, making sure this guy dies. Although, I don't know, he's taking some hits already. He's getting body blocked a little bit. Now the lings are out. Now the SCV has to leave. Actually, never mind. He's not leaving. Is he leaving? I don't know. Whatever. I was going to say, there's there's Ling's chasing you. Why can't I right-click on this SCV? Got him. I just got to focus, complain about it, and everything's fine. Metabolic boost on the way for the two Zerglings that exist. And this feels all the world like a Mutalisk opening out of the Zerg. Uh, had a comment the other day that's like, man, is all Zergs do these days go for the two-base Mutalisk opening? And it's like, well, yeah, sort of. I mean, it, it just keeps the Terran at home. And allows you time to get up a third base and allows you time to get up things like a Hydralisk Den and Lurker Aspect and actually get a third that you can protect. It's hard to protect your third base if you don't have a Mutalisk Den. Or a Mutalisk... Uh, a Mutalisk Spire. A Spire to protect your Hydralisk Den to get up to the third base and this, the Lurkers and all that stuff. You know how this works. Anywho, if you're new here, I'm Falcon Paladin. I'm here five times a week. Cast our craft remastered content from oh, years ago sometimes and sometimes very recently. I believe this is in the last 12 months, if not sooner than that. RGB can probably correct me on that. He likes to come to the cast and say hello too. But yeah, that's what I'm here for is StarCraft. Five times a week. Been here for... I've got 50,000 subs. Been here for some time. Hope you enjoy your stay. Macro Hatch coming up. For Soul Key inside the main base. Spire is about 50% complete. Really no not time for an engineering bay yet. And there you go. Additional barracks on the way. We're not making a factory here, which is totally fine. Right? You want to deal with the mutalisks. And you can either do that with Goliaths or you can do it with Marines. Marines is a totally viable and fine answer here. 
third barracks timing now. And there it is. Actually, let us see if he mess him up a little bit. Maybe he messed him up a little bit. Either way, I mean, this is nice. Solki is getting away with making no zerglings at all. He made dos. Dos zerglitos. And they're here, and they're hanging out on this ramp. They got their little webbed feet. And they're... Well, those look like human hands on the outside. Look at that. Look at this. Right here in particular. It looks like human... Do zerglings have human hands? I guess it's only four fingers, but still. Okay, I really don't feel comfortable with the design of zerglings in the remaster. I just don't. There's a few things that make me uncomfortable, but this is, I think, number one. See, you can't really can't really tell from this angle, but man, from that angle, you got the web feet for sure from this angle, but not the not the hands. Anywho, guess what? The Mutalisks are out. The turrets are on the way. Range coming in for Marines, plus one attack coming in for the Marines. And the, let the Mutalisk harassment begin! I feel like I should be running a Colosseum of some kind. Let the entertainments begin! We who are about to die salute you! That's not what the announcer says, that's what the gladiators say. Under threat of death. I'm gonna die anyway, whatever. Alright, so Muta Stack has arrived. Eric gonna take some missile hits here, because again, the turrets have been. Oh my gosh! Yep, Marine. Oh, just beautiful targeting there. Just fantastic placement as well. A couple SCVs go down, but maybe three or four SCVs and a couple Marines go down. One Mutalisk does die. Another SCV dies. Okay. All right. This is not bad. This is not too shabby. But third base gets to come up because the Terran doesn't want to move out when there's Mutalisks flying about. Can't really blame them for that. And check it out. That's a Hydralisk 10. So, the Mutas are going to make sure that the Marines cannot just make a beeline over that third base and try to kill it. We've seen some really, really good Terran players like Piano pull that off. Just somehow be able to kind of slip past the Mutalisks, not get harassed by them all that much, show up at the third base and kill it, and then suddenly the Zerg player is way behind and very unhappy about that. It's hard to come back. Queen, that's a pretty fast Queen's Nest, man. Six and a half, seven and a half minutes. Before Lurker Aspect starts. Ooh. Is he going to get away with that would be the question of the day here. RJB sold this game as a game that has more action packed into it than you would expect. So let's see how this works out. We have 11 Mutalisks out. That's probably all we're going to make today would be my guess. You see how these guys are heading over for that third base? I'm worried. I'm worried about that third base. I'm telling you right now. Bunch of Speedlings. Do you get a flank up? Kill a Marine. Couple... Lose a couple links in the meantime. Are we just... Oh, hold up. Or maybe we could just kill the entire natural base. Why not? Why not just kill the whole natural hatchery? Are you... Okay. Well, man. I don't like calling early GGs, but holy crap. That hatch is dead. Oh, hang on. A there you go. I was going to actually kill the hatch, though. Okay, it's enough mutas to take down the remaining marines here, but by golly, losing that natural hatch hurts. I know I talked about losing the third, but it's an equal threat, losing your natural or losing your third. That said, all the medics died, which is cool. A couple marines wandered up to the third base. They're going to try to get a couple kills, but more than likely than anything, they're going to die before they get two kills. Uh, this guy's got two. Never mind. He's dead, but he accomplished his goal, that's for sure. So, replanting... The natural, as soon as you have money for it, is the soul key. And, uh, there, there it is. There it is. Nine minutes. Can't feel good about that. The only good news is the Terran doesn't have a third base on site anywhere. So, <laughs> it's a minor victory, I guess. Oh, where did all my mutalisks go? We had 11. We counted 11. A bunch of them must have died trying to make sure that reinforcements didn't arrive to that natural base. But the natural base died anyway. Dude, I don't know about this. I really don't know about this. Sexy Hero is having a wonderful time. Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. That's a YTMND throwback if I've ever heard one before. Yeah, so the Mutas are like, well, what can we do? There's a lot of Marines and turrets and stuff, so that's not good. It's 36 to 28 total workers. Where's your third base? Sexy Hero. Either get a... Th oh my gosh, we're not going third, man. We're getting a more barracks. We're getting more barracks. We're getting a starport. Do we have a factory and a science facility by any stretch? 
The answer is no. Oh, we do have a factory. I'm a liar. Uh, no science facility anywhere. Mm, no, huh? All right. Well, I mean, doing this without science facilities is going to be difficult. I'm sure he'll go there eventually, but this is a lot, man. 75 to 61 supply in favor of Sexy Hero. He's got plus one attack for his dudes. He's got range. He's got the stim. The saving grace for Soul Key is that there are lurkers out. And again, there are no irradiates available. Zero irradiates. Ready to rock here. We've got three lurkers on this ramp. We've got two lurkers at this choke. There's a defiler mound finishing up. And there he... Oh, there is the science vessel. Where is your science facility? Good sir. Friend to all... Who, oh, it's right here. Caster blindness is a thing. Please donate today to your caster blindness fund. Ah, uh, patreon.com slash falcon paladin. <laughs> you too can help stop the scourge of caster blindness that has been plaguing casters since 1998. Was StarCraft the first game that was cast as an eSport? Was that Warcraft 2 or something else? That's a great question. I'm pretty sure it's Brood War. Yeah, a couple tanks and a single Lurker. Oh, Lurker gets out of there. Nice Pearl Micro. I don't know. Solky can do this. He can do this is what I'm saying. Ah, one of the Lurkers gets picked off. Siege tanks are such a problem, especially in the Siege mode. Uh, this is a lot. This is a lot. Oh, man. We're going. Lusamale. All right. Oh, the Dark Swarm is here, though. Surprise! Surprise, Dark Swarm. And suddenly, the Terran goes from a position he's really comfortable with to a position he hates. Dark Swarm and Lurkers combined. Every Terran hates it with all of their souls. Dark Swarm is a good spell. Plague's coming up next. We've got Adrenal Glance for the Zerglings. Soul Key has a new lease on life right now. Siege tanks are kind of firing on this third base stuff. A third base is getting started here from Sexy Hero, though. I heard Scourge die. They're probably going... Oh, did they, they didn't get it, did they? I don't think so. Science Vessel here. Ah, that beautiful, beautiful Dark Swarm. Nidus Canal connecting bases that are like right next to each other. That's another great Dark Swarm. The Siege Tank has to get out of here. Man, Soul Key. The comeback potential is real right now. Ultraless Cavern at 13 minutes, because why not? We're recognizing it's a lot of Marines and not that many Siege Tanks, I guess. So this tank is dead. Beautiful stuff. Without the Siege Tanks, Sieges are a lot harder. Who knew? Another beautiful Dark Swarm. Soul Key, you are a boss right now. You're killing it. Oh, get out of there, sexy hero. Run, run for your life, sexy hero. Such a great name. It's fun to say, too. Hope I don't get demonetized for saying sexy too much. That's not the kind of sexy, YouTube demonetizers. Drop, attempt. Oh, the lings. Oh, the scourge, though. Oh, everyone dead. <laughs> Dude. 101 to 90 supply is a much better place to be than we were. The Dark Swarm placements by Soul Key have been godlike. Just godlike today. Yeah, Lurkers again, just shoving this away. The Siege Tanks can't get out of here fast enough. I feel like this guy could have gotten out of here fast enough, but he chose to stay here in Siege mode and die to Lurker Spines instead, which is really kind of a sad thing if you think about it. Coming up the other side, he's like, well, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Maybe we can come up the other ramp. I mean, the bad news here for Soul Key is he's really on the back foot. He doesn't have much of an opportunity to take a fourth base at all. The Terran's got his three bases up. Plague! Ooh! But then, then cometh the plague. That Defiler running for it. Ah, oh, revenge. Revenge for the plague. Another army coming down the right side here. Maybe he's going to try to sneak down. 
But Lurker Placement still defending pretty well. Ooh, we do get a drop up here, though. All right. That's a pretty good drop. Drone's generally getting out of there. Trying to take down the Nidus. Genius play. Brilliant play. But everybody dies because, well, everybody dies. Dropship gets killed by Scourge down in the main base. Uh, these guys are actually still doing things. Zerglings clear that up. All right. So 37 drones for Soul Key. 45 SCVs. Checking to see, is there a fourth base up here? There is not. The third base is so happy right now. For Sexy Hero. Uh, he's just got enough Marines to wander up here and take down a Sunken. That's a problem. The Mutalisks all die, but Le Ultralisks have arrived. Legu catching the Ultralisk. But it doesn't matter. Ultras have way more HP than Marines do. Another Irradiate coming around. If the Scourge would take down Science Vessels, and maybe instead of drop ships, if you had to make a choice, Science Vessels dying might be a better option here. This poor guy, he's gonna take a lot. He's gonna take a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, it's not great. So I don't know. I mean, Soul King needs to get some damage done on the other side of the base. He needs to. Okay, this works. This technically counts as damage on the other side of the base. Little buddy, I think, had five kills before he died. That's excellent. Ultras, ooh, coming up to this third. Irradiating the Ultralisks only makes them do splash damage. Extra splash damage against your units. Okay, and it hurts the Ultras too. It's kind of like giving the Ultralisks stim, if you think about it a little bit here. Dude, it's no, no. Soul Key did it. He got across the other side of the map somehow. The Madman got across the other side of the map. Got Dark Swarm down here. He's keeping the Terran pinned. Lurkers are up at the third base. Dude, these SCVs pinning this Lurker in are incredible. Just burrow it. Burrow your Lurker. Dude, burrow Soul Key. Burrow your Lurkers. That guy gets burrowed. This guy's burrowed. This guy's burrowed. There we go. SCVs do not fight the Lurkers. Pro tip, don't fight the Lurkers. A Plague Ooh, on all of the science vessels. What is going on? So many dead workers here, too. Down to 33 SCVs. <laughs> and Sexy Hero taps out. And Sulky is somehow and some way your winner here in 17 minutes today. <laughs> what? Dude, he... Okay, that was... Sulky still got it, I think is what that, that, uh, that replay is all about. You can't lose your natural base to a two-basing Terran who then gets a pretty fast third behind it while you're like desperately trying to get a natural base replanted for yourself. You never get a fourth base in 17 minutes. But you know what you do get? Ultras, Defilers, Plague, Dark Swarm, Scourge, Zerglings, Lurkers. All of these ingredients. All of them really, really important today. And all of them were required for Soul Key to win this. Yeah, that one link comes up. Scouts, oh crap, there's a third base. Kill some SCVs. And then he manages to get over here with a couple Ultralisks, chase dudes off, move the Terran back, zone him back to his natural base so he can't really do much up here. Uh, and then get the Lurkers up. And he kind of forgot about him for a second. He was kind of worried about what's happening down this way. And when he realized he wasn't getting through this front, unfortunately, he was able to, oh yes, I can burrow my Lurkers and get, you know, 12, 10, and 12 kills on these Lurkers and completely shut down this third base entirely. Have the Terran be sitting back here pinned on two bases while he's happily operating on soon to be four. I mean, he never got a fourth base, but let's look at it. It was 150 HP away from being a fourth base. So we're going to call it a fourth base. I don't know what these guys are doing. I'm concerned about them. Uh, I feel like they should be running and trying to join the party. They're not. But yeah, 105 to 82 supply. It was, I mean, it was a big advantage. <laughs> big advantage for Sexy Hero there for a minute, wasn't it? And then suddenly, Sulky's like, well, we're going to kill a couple drop ships. We're going to use Dark Swarm and Plague to our advantage. We're going to force the Terran back. And once the Terran's on his back foot, we're faster than he is. We can get up to his third base and shut him down. Some Dark Swarms on the front door really makes the Terran feel like he can't get outside at all. And then, yeah, no sign of a fourth base. Third base shut down, and that bobs your uncle. That, I mean, that thing turned on a dime. That felt so much like a Terran win. And for that to go from like a Terran win at minute 15 to a Zerg win at minute 17, Sulky, you scary. You're a scary, scary dude, and I kind of love it.
Wow. So yeah, 17 minute game. RJB specifically said it's a 17 minute game that feels like it's longer because there's so much happening and I agree with that. But 83,000 points at the end of the day for Soul Key, 75,000 for 10 minute Flash or Sexy Hero. I'm still fairly sure this means he feels like he can play like Flash for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes he kind of falls apart. That's sort of, I mean, hey, that makes sense. He killed Soul Key's natural base in under 10 minutes, but then he lost it at 17. So that actually makes, that makes a ton of sense. Uh, resources here, way more gas mined out of Soul Key, which makes sense because the Terran was going for largely a marine heavy composition. A lot of science vessels, surprisingly, though. Then outspent by about 5,000, despite being on effectively equal base count for much of that game. I don't know, man. Soul Key drones just work harder, I guess is what it is. I don't know, maybe Zerg is overpowered. Who even knows anymore? All right, well, good stuff. Blech. All right, so that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself.